nursing student. I want to talk about her nursing school journey and how they get into the nursing program. If you'll introduce yourself for everybody. Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Hannah. I'm 24 years old and I'm originally from California. Right now, I'm attending Johns Hopkins University School of Nursing. Nice to have you on for today. And what would we'll start with getting into the nursing program? What, are you in a bachelor's program or an associate's degree program? So right now I'm in an entry level MSN program. So I am getting my master's degree in nursing, but to become a registered nurse. So it's entry level rather than um, like doing the nurse practitioner MSN. It's just the RN. So what are some of the requirements to get into your program? So first and foremost, um, you will need a bachelor's degree in a discipline other than nursing from a U.S. accredited college or university. Secondly, you'll need your prerequisite. So we have your anatomy with lab, human growth and development through the lifespan, which is a psychology course, microbiology with lab, nutrition, physio with lab, and statistics. Um, then you need a GPA of at least 3.0. Uh, you need three letters of recommendations to have academic and one professional. And then they just need your transcripts, a written essay, a virtual video, um, interview, um, your current resume, and that is it. You don't need your um, GRE scores. It's accepted, but it's not required. And um, you will need your TOEFL if English is not your first language. And uh, for your program, do I recommend you have any work experience, like a patient internship or CNA before you apply? Yes, yeah, so they don't require um, like an hours log or proof of employment, nothing like that. They just want your resume, um, but it is definitely favored if you do have that CNA experience or caregiving or anything really with inpatient or in the hospital. Can you talk about some of the tests you have to take in order to apply for your program? Like so again, the GRE, um, it's the graduate standardized test for any graduate school or program that you want to apply for. It is accepted, but it is not required, as well as the T's and the HESI. That is very common in our nursing programs, especially the BSN and the ADN route. They are not required. The only thing that would be required is the TOEFL or the TOEFL if English is not your first language. And what's a typical week look like for you as a nursing student in this program? So this program is about 15 to 20 months. It's accelerated. It's five semesters. So it is definitely very jam-packed when it comes to my schedule. So I am entering my second semester. And as of now, it's a little bit easier because I have done, I transitioned it to half online, half in person. But for my first semester, which I'll talk about more since I have exact, I finished it already, um, we had two labs um, for health assessment and for foundations, and we had pathophysiology for lecture, and um, we had common health and everything already jam-packed in one. We already start clinicals. So it was a very busy week. I was on campus Monday to Thursday. I had um, lab in class on Monday and Thursdays. I had clinicals from 7 to 3 p.m., awesome on Tuesdays, and then I had patho on Wednesdays. So it was pretty busy, um, especially because for the curriculum at Hopkins, you need to do modules or pre-learning work before you enter the class because it is a flipped classroom setting. So instead of going into lecture and learning the new material, you learn it at your own time before you show up to class. And in class, they will hone a discussion, um, some case study problems, some NCLEX next gen um, questions and apply what we had learned in the modules in class and have any questions answered. So with this Accelerate program you're in, is each semester like a whole 13 weeks or 12 weeks? So how long is each semester and how many semesters total is your course? So for um my cohort, so I end my I started in fall. So the first semester is fall, about 15 weeks. Also about 15 weeks, but then summer is very fast paced, about six to eight. And then 
fall and spring again for 15 weeks. So I would be graduated by May of 2024. Uh, would you recommend someone going to this program right out of high school, or would you recommend that they have another degree before that, or is another degree required before you start this program? So another degree is required. Again, it is a bachelor's degree in any discipline other than nursing. So you cannot join the program or apply for the program if you just got straight out of a high school or if you've already have a BSN. Um, you have to go through undergrad to apply for this program. And because it is fast paced, I would recommend um, that people who graduate from college take about one to two gap years just to build experience, save money, and then start the program and expect not to have a job or any other commitments because of how accelerated it is. Very, very wise knowledge information from you, especially from someone who's really on their nursing program. What Do you have any idea of what type of nursing you want to go into after you finish your program? I know you said nurse practitioner, but it's, do you want to be acute care, family medicine, uh, primary care, geriatric, pediatrics? Do you have any idea of what you want to go into? So going into this program, again, I am very new, so I'm still keeping an open mind. Um, I really wanted to go into women's health, anything maternal and child health related, reproductive and sexual health related. But this past semester, actually, I've grown a new interest in pre-op and post-op care. So I'm still deciding as I go through each clinical, I believe um, my next clinical will be chronic health, and then there's complex health, which is like ICU critical care. And later on would be the psychiatric, the childbearing, like the labor and delivery clinical. So I want to see first how it's like when I finish those hours and then um, go from there. But as of now, pre and post-op care or anything women's health related. Those are very, very diverse specialties, but also those specialties that make a lot of money so oh i was gonna say hopefully you're not yours but those are the ones that people tend to go in because there's lots of need for what so that's one reason they get paid a lot oh and, i see <laughs> well i went for interest so i haven't even thought about pay yet just because i haven't finished the program i don't even know which state yet but it is comforting to know that <laughs> i was gonna say as long as you at least you're going in for the right reasons so i commend you for that thank you is there anything that to wrap this up that you would like to tell any pre-nursing students or anyone in undergrad who maybe doesn't know what they want to do about going into this accelerate program yeah um definitely um my biggest advice would be First of all, not to give up. Nursing is a very difficult profession. It's the most trusted profession. So it will take time and a lot of hard work and patience to excel in the program as well as in the career later on. So definitely don't give up. Keep working towards your goals. I got rejected by nursing schools twice before I got accepted to Hopkins. So definitely I wanted to give up at that time, but I did. I kept pushing and I ended up getting such a great experience so far in this accelerated program. And secondly, I would advise people, especially in the medical field, to build community with those who are in the field as well. I know it's easier said than done, but really networking is what will get you far into this um, profession, especially because you need you really need that support system who truly understands the expectations and the responsibilities of this role. And you want to make sure you're knowledgeable and supportive in every way possible so you can avoid burnout, you can avoid, you know, things that will essentially affect your mental health. So truly learning from other people who are already in their career and taking their advice would be the number one thing I would recommend, especially through mentorship. I love your perseverance and take getting into nursing school because you don't see that a whole lot, at least back when I was going to nursing school. And the perseverance that you have now is going to carry over into your profession. So it just shows what type of nurse you're going to be, which is going to be an exceptional one. So I commend you for not giving up and wanting to pursue your dreams. Thank you so much.
And now, um, I'm just gonna be out there where you can tell everyone where they can find you at, they can call you, and you know, continue on to see how how's how she doing, how's this excellent program working, and I'll give you I'll let you explain it to everyone where they can find you at. Yes, so because I am barely in my second semester, I am a baby, baby nurse. Please follow me at Nursing With Hands on Instagram. Definitely, I'll keep you posted on my journey. And if you need any help or advice into getting to nursing school or just wanting to talk about the program and the expectations, um, please feel free to shoot me a DM or you can even email me at hannahmaybell1 at gmail.com. I'll make sure that that's typed down and everything so that the spelling is correct. And I'm more than happy to be a helping hand to anybody who needs it. I truly believe that it takes a village to be successful in the nursing field. So I'm here for whoever needs any help. Thank you for your time. I'll let you get back to the rest of your day. And I look forward to following you on your journey. And I can't wait to see what good things you have to do with this profession. Thank you so much, Miranda. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.